What's up guys, c 13 here, and I wasn't planning on making this video, but unfortunately I've had some issues with my S61, and I feel like it's only right if I give you guys an update. So as you guys know, I've had the CAT S61 as my daily driver phone for over three months now. And although it's had some hiccups along the way, I've really enjoyed using this phone. Between the switch to Android from iOS and just in general all the features and rugged build quality that this phone has integrated into it, I really have enjoyed it. And I planned on keeping this phone as my daily driver for the next year, maybe even two years. But I've run into an issue, and it's a battery issue. Now, now this isn't gonna change my decision to keep the phone and use it for the next year, but it might change my decision if I'm gonna keep it for two years. Now, this is covered by warranty, and, and I did contact Cat Customer Support, and they were helpful, and it's looking like I'm gonna have to do an RMA warranty return or repair type thing. So, you know, we're gonna see about that and I'll definitely keep you updated on it. But for now, I just wanna tell you what's going on with my phone and what I'm experiencing so you guys know that, you know, you're not left in the dark. So to give you some background here, there, the last software update that came to this phone was about two weeks ago. And there was a security update, Android security update before that but this was just a software update. I remember it pretty clearly. And when it first came, when it first got downloaded, I remember that first time, you know, there were some weird things going on with the charging, but it didn't seem to cause any issues after I rebooted the phone. But starting three days after that, I began having charging problems. And they are as follows. The battery percentage indicator would not be accurate. It would stick at a certain percentage and then suddenly drop like 20%. In addition, I would have issues with charging, and this is where the biggest problems lie. When you plug in the phone to charge it, the, at best, the percentage will rise maybe four to 5%, and then it'll just freeze at a certain value. Let's just say it goes from 41 to 48%. It'll stop at 48%, still indicate that it's charging both in the top corner and even on the lock screen when you're looking at it, but it won't necessarily give you a time to full and the percentage won't move at all. Now sometimes if you wait it out, you'll see that the percentage does increase and it keeps charging, but oftentimes it doesn't and then you'll say, ah, oh, well to hell with this, I'm gonna unplug it. You unplug it and the percentage actually drops by three to 4%. Now sometimes also when you're experiencing this, you know, I, I thought, okay, maybe there's just something wrong with it. I'll reboot the phone, I'll force restart the phone. I tried that as well. It helps, usually the percentage will be accurate after reboot, but soon after you try to charge the phone and again, this funky behavior begins. Now the most effective way to charge the phone in any meaningful way with accurate percentage readings seems to be if you shut the phone completely off and charge it off. When you do that, you know, the interface that shows that the battery is charging while it's off shows a pretty accurate percentage and it can almost always charge the phone to 100% if you leave it. Still, this is extremely frustrating because it constantly left me guessing what percentage my phone was actually at and how full it actually was. And to actually gauge some of this, because again, just looking at the indicator on the phone and what it says on the lock screen about whether it's charging quickly or slowly or a regular charge, you know, that, that could be inaccurate because again, the software, you know, could be the problem and that's that was my thought all along so on my power bank here I have this little USB tester and this gives me great insight into what's actually going on when I charge something basically it tells me voltage current you know watt hours and also watts in general so this gives me a really good idea on whether or not it's slow charging quick charging or not charging at all now pretty much every time that I was having the charging issues with the phone and I had it plugged in here reading you know, the, the current output and all that, the current output read as if it was actually charging at a decent rate. You know, when it was below, below 70, so, 70 or so percent and the phone sometimes indicated that was quick charging, 
every time I was getting at least 15 watts, which indicated that it was probably quick charging. But the problem is again, the phone's gauge just wasn't accurate. So I contacted Cat's technical support. And initially they had sent me an email detailing what I should do and to test these different options for two days. Now what they detailed here is simply to drain and recharge the battery and I wanted to yell at the guy because it's like it's not even charging. You know, in the beginning I didn't even fully understand that it was just the gauge that was inaccurate. I thought the battery literally wasn't charging. But then also of course it recommends other things, clearing out old files, making sure you have enough free space, etc. But clearly it didn't work. So after two days I called them back. Now I'm still waiting for my official shipping label because they are going to cover shipping to their repair center in Georgia. But I did get in touch with somebody and they sent me a form to fill out with my information and my shipping details so that they can get the phone back to me after it's serviced. But anyway, that's just the ultimate painful saga of the battery failure issues I've been having on the S61. And you know, otherwise it's been a beautifully great phone. I've really enjoyed this phone and you know, it's perfect for me. I, I love it. I use the thermal camera all the time. The VOC sensor has been surprisingly useful for whenever I'm in the garage painting. And you know, the laser tool, mm, I don't really use that as much, but it's still pretty useful if I'm going to measure anything or rough out any sort of distance where I'm trying to measure something, maybe like in a property or something else like that. You know, that's, that's always useful, but that doesn't happen very often. Anyway, guys, if you've had this issue, please, please, please leave it in the comments for other people to see because I, along with everyone else that might have an S61, wants to know if you've had this issue as well because I want to know if this is tied to the last update. If you like the video, be sure to give me a like. And if you want to see my next update on what happens and me detailing the whole return and customer support and warranty process, be sure to get subscribed.